hello and welcome back to another video so first of all thank you very much for all the love you gave to my previous video honestly i was not expecting that much read so there were many questions in the comment section and also i got a lot of dm so in this video i will tell you about my journey and hopefully that will answer all of your doubts so let's first talk about my college journey i am currently a student at triple it hyderabad btech csc so it's a four year course and therefore i got the internship offer after my second year so when i joined the college i had very basic idea of c++ like i had c++ in 11 12 in school those of you had c++ in school cbc board they probably know how much they teach and how much is required in the college uh, anyway so in the first semester we had c so i studied c basic algorithm data structure etc in the second semester also i continued with the same approach but slightly more inclined towards c++ i mean both of them are nearly same as far as the logic and problem solving goes so in the whole first year i majorly focused on my basic programming skills and dsa and used to solve a lot of questions on core forces hacker rank hacker earth etc uh, after my first year was completed i had like 3 months of summer vacations so in that i started exploring web development like html css javascript munstack and while learning i also was working on a project so that project is pretty complex and like i spent almost two and a half months doing that with another friend and after the end of first year including the summer vacation i had decent experience in web development as well as the dsa part now i wanted to see like what next what is next to explore so in the second year what i did is explore web development more and also like shift to react native so react native is almost similar to react so i started exploring that also uh, i mostly left doing dsa questions because i thought i have time to like pick up later because i already practice enough so my second year was mainly focused on development stuff only be it android development web development learning new technologies like django and things like that now after second year in the basically vacations of the second year i realized that i will obviously have to sit for internships so therefore what i did is uh, generally people have two options lead code and interview bit for doing interview specific questions i started with lead code but realized that uh, it has a lot of questions therefore i i mean it cannot be finished because it's like infinite so i went ahead with interview bit Uh, the advantage is interview bit has limited set of questions so you have something that you finish this you are done uh, it does not mean that the questions are easy interview bit has easier questions also and difficult questions also but since i had experience by doing core forces and all that i was able to like pick up uh, on interview bit you cannot just do interview bit because that won't be possible the like level increases exponentially so make sure you either have practiced previously or you are doing practice from some other website simultaneously now uh, i also started to give some contests i mean i have been giving contests in first year also but i started giving them more often now uh, like many people think that you need a higher rating to like put in your resume or something and therefore they keep on giving a lot of more contests on code forces code chef whatever but i personally feel that instead of focusing more on rating just focus on like solving the problems so i never really focus on rating and giving a lot of contest i mainly focus on doing the problems outside of the contest i started giving more contest just to make sure that i am like comfortable with the pressure of time and like basically get to know how the actual test will look like but uh, uh, one thing make sure is Core forces contest are very different than the actual uh, interview contest. Core forces is more like improving your logical thinking, whereas the actual questions are more like interview bit stuff. So that's one thing. Uh, I was able to complete interview bit ladder. There is a ladder which has different topics and a lot of questions under under each topic. So I completed that ladder in like two three months. So by the time my third year was starting, I was done with like project web development. and dsa now uh, there is another thing to prepare for interview which is like dbms os networking etc 
uh, I just search internet for like random YouTube videos or some top 50 questions or whatever and I just like went through them it took like one week to cover all the, the all these subjective topics so by now uh, I was ready for internships I was also simultaneously doing more practice on the DSA part because that was the DSA part as well as the subjective subjects part because I guess that was the only thing majorly required so what do my uber selection look like uh, uber in my case at least had one coding round or coding online test and then three interview rounds so in the coding test we had three questions one was comparatively easy if you know python or int 120 in, in c++ it was comparatively easy the other two were fairly complex questions and uh, i mean they as far as uber is concerned i think their questions majorly focus on dp and graphs but like just a warning here generally people just jump on to like doing complex in dp and graph while the questions were of dp and graph it's very important to like build your basic programming and logical thinkings by doing basic topics like binary search recursion and all that like that is like building block of these complex topics so the coding test was done uh, it had three question uh, i don't want to demotivate you but uh, uh, all the people i know who got selected were the ones who were able to do all the three questions i fortunately also was able to do all the three questions so i went to the interview rounds so first interview round was a coding round obviously in that i was asked a question with is again I guess based on graphs graphs and uh, I think it was something related to BFS there was some difficulty I faced in doing that but ultimately I was able to do that and code it so I got like selected into the next round next round again had DP and graph combined problem and it was very complex problem but I was able to do that so I got selected into the third round which is a hiring manager round now in the third round the i mean different interviewers took things differently so while some of my friends were asked about os dbms questions uh, my, in my case the third round revolved mainly around my projects because i mean the hr round is focused on you so if you want the interviewer to focus on your projects if you have some projects good enough to show you can like slightly change the format of the round so in my case also uh, nearly all the discussion which were happening was focused on like my projects and there was no questions at all on OS or DBMS and like to be honest before this round I mean originally I thought I didn't thought that I would get selected into Uber but after getting selected into the second round also I now started to had hopes so I mean this was very unexpected for me but I got very happy after getting selected so now uh, like or many of you have question like do did CP help or not is it necessary to prepare OS DBMS and all that subjective stuff so first of all OS DBMS I don't know if it's important or not but definitely many companies ask that and it won't take you a lot of time to read about them so why not secondly did CP help or not in my case definitely helped and I don't know why people consider DSA and CP separate for me they are both like same unless you go into really complex stuff like FFT and all that complex CP stuff DSA and CP are almost same for me it's just that uh, questions on code forces it's not like code forces questions are more difficult like they even have questions like take input A and B and print A plus B uh, as you progress on code forces it like challenges you on the logical side whereas the questions on interview based lead code and all these websites are more standard so if you have time I would suggest to like focus on code forces first code forces and maybe hacker rank hacker basically these cp like sites and once your interviews are near you can like start doing lead code or interview bit uh, secondly does cg help again cgpa is important to get at least shortlisted i mean you should have something which is above a threshold but is it important or not depends on a lot of factor now if you have done everything you have good projects you have good dsa skills or subjective then obviously you can see if you can improve your cgpa if you do not have these basic skills also i would say cg forget about cgpa focus on these skills first 
like it depends on what your situation is but definitely cgpa is less important than your dsa skills and projects now uh, also what programming language to choose uh, since i in my school also i had c++ in my college also we were taught c i continued with that only uh, in your case if i would suggest you choose either c++ or java if you haven't chosen any choose c++ uh, generally companies don't differentiate a lot on this factor but in python what happens is a lot of things are abstracted so they have built in things for everything in case a interviewer asks you on how this is implemented and you don't know that that might cause a problem so if you haven't started choose c++ if you have started with java that's also fine no not a big problem if you are doing with python i would suggest to like start slowly start to like learn a little bit of c c++ and all that because that will be beneficial and honestly after you learn one language shifting to another language is like very easy it's just syntax is a little different so don't worry much about it it's just a little practice will be required to get your hands on it uh now like coming to my internship and what the, is the tech stack and like how is everything going so my internship is actually going pretty good no issues in that and my role is front end role and fortunately the tech stack is also like react graphql and all that and i already had experience in that so at least on the technical side i am doing pretty good i guess the challenge here is not how to do something like how to implement or how to do is like pretty much the easiest part what to do and like basically like designing a high level design low level design that is a little challenging and that's also exciting i guess because if i was only coding here it would probably be boring for me to be honest so now let's come to how you can prepare and also like how you can get internships or jobs at uber or any other company for that matter so there was a comment in my previous video uh, which asked how to prepare or get selected into uber and someone replied there that the uber only hires from top colleges so you probably won't get selected now i don't want to sugarcoat it but please don't take it in a demotivating way take it in a positive way but if you think uber or any company won't hire you because you are not from a good college then you are probably right but it's not because the company won't hire you it's because you won't work hard to even try to get hired now there is no substitute for hard work to be honest like you have to work hard in some phase of your life those of you who worked hard in je time are in the good, good college now those of you who work hard in college get a good internship or placement now i i mean i don't want to boast here but i worked hard in je times i work hard in college also and i am like working hard here also not all people from good colleges get an internship at uber like so make sure you work hard like 5% is your luck uh, road maps or whatever but 95% is your hard work if you are working hard no matter from which college you are you can definitely go apply off campus i don't i am not saying that uber will definitely hire you but there are a lot of companies which can hire you but you need to work hard first of all on your preparation and secondly on applying off campus and there are like friends here who have applied off campus to uber and they have got an internship now it's completely up to you to accept that you are not from a good college and just like do nothing or accept that you can do something and prepare or work hard for that like i read it somewhere and it is like really the truth so losers have a lot of reasons why they cannot do something but winner has only one reason why they can do it something and they achieve something so it's completely up to you on how much hard work you can put maybe in the worst case you won't get an good internship or placement as a fresher but like career is so long maybe you will work in not a very good company for first two years but if you are consistently working hard you will definitely get a good opportunity like if you are doing what everyone is doing don't expect to achieve more than what everyone is achieving that's like what i want to say now what matters at the end of the day is how much you want to achieve something and how much you work hard for that now if you say you don't have a good advice good senior whatever then again it is not much at like it's only covered in the 5% if you try out 10 things if you like work hard that much to try out 10 things maybe two or three will not work because that will be like wrong path 
but the seven or eight that will work will help you achieve whatever you want to achieve so lastly uh, what advice i will give is uh, if you are starting your programming journey make sure to focus on your fundamentals first that is like choose any language it won't matter like i said it does not matter a lot which programming language you choose but make sure you build your logical thinking pro problem solving things very good secondly uh, many people jump on complex data structures algorithms like they do like few binary search question few recursion jump on dp graphs whatever now if you don't have much time before your interview then this approach makes sense but if you have decent amount of time like let's say you are just in your first year or just starting your second year uh, i would suggest to like do questions on codeforce or any cp like website because they kind of force you to think out of the box so when a new question comes which is not a standard question you generally know how to approach it if you only do lead code or interview bit you will only be able to do standard questions so i mean if you have time try to do more and keep lead code and interview bit for the end secondly for the project thing also don't try to run for fancy stuff like i mean if you have genuine interest in some things like blockchain ai ml or whatever then definitely do that but don't just do because there are more jobs or maybe more money or whatever or maybe just it's fancy name do what you like try or something but again build your basics in that uh, like uh, coming to the project i worked i mean that was kind of fundamental project which taught me everything like git web development like general development in general everything from my one that project now how that can happen in if you really want to learn now uh, what you can do is either do something to just show that this is what i built or really question everything and figure out what is the best approach so in my project there are a lot of things which i struggle and spent a lot of time on which is definitely not even visible to the end user like optimizing the response time caching security considerations if you like think about all these things like coding practices uh, git using git github all that all these will not be visible to the end user but will definitely teach you a lot so uh, again if you have time make sure you do one project one project is enough but you do that properly not only to show to the end user but also to learn yourself and you don't need to like fill your resume with a lot of projects just build one good project or two good projects and that will be enough lastly uh, like i said if you are not from a good college don't worry about it work hard and definitely you can achieve it like honestly if even if you remove my college from my resume i am still good enough i am not saying that definitely uber will only hire me but anyways having a single dream company is like not good so about having a dream company i wrote a linkedin post some few time back uh, i will attach the link in the description so you can read about that so it's anyway not good to have a single dream company but irrespective of what college you are you can definitely get a job at top few companies definitely so that was all i wanted to say in this video i know i covered everything in like summary but if you want a detailed video on any of these topics please let me know in the comments and if you like the video please press the like button and to stay updated subscribe to the channel thank you and see you next time